Hey guys, this is Will from Daily BMS. Have you ever encountered such a situation? The lithium battery has power but shows no power after being installed in electric vehicles. What happened? And this is the power system for electric vehicles, and I will use it to show you the reasons. This is the controller of electric vehicle, and after the battery is installed, the circuit is connected. In order to protect itself, the controller will have a power on capacitor. So at this moment, the external battery supplies power to the capacitor of the controller first. But the current at this moment is very large. We all know that the lithium battery is equipped with battery management system, which is BMS. The moment when the lithium battery is connected to the controller, the BMS will detect the instantaneous large current, then the short circuit protection of the BMS is triggered, so they immediately cut off the power. And this is the phenomenon we mentioned earlier, that is, electric vehicle is equipped with battery, but is out of power. Actually, if we observe carefully enough, at the moment we connect wire, there will be a clear spot we can see because of the large current. After triggering the short circuit protection of the BMS, you only need to disconnect the load connection and the BMS will be restored and the battery will have power again. So, how can we solve this problem? Two solutions. First, it can be solved by repeated attempts. After the lithium battery is made, all its parameters are set up, but its output object, the parameters of electric vehicles are not set up. There may be controllers for various parameters, so we can connect to the power supply multiple times and you will find that there's always a chance to succeed. Second, we should solve the problem once for all, that is to add a power on pre-charge function to the BMS. When the BMS detects a short circuit current firstly, start the pre-charge function and carry out low current, low power discharge to the external devices. Of course, how much electric energy can be released should be strictly controlled. It is necessary to meet the starting requirements of most controllers, and in the meantime, can effectively protect them when a real short circuit is triggered. You get it? This is Will. See you next time. Bye.